we produce. So we're, you know, and, and it's all worked out well. Like <clears throat> I've got some younger kids that ride very, very well in the program. So sending these greener horses, they've taken them horses on. They'll race for their first time this year. Like uh, a bunch of the videos that I've been sharing with you and stuff, and we're gate schooling them new horses and getting them ready to go. And we're, you know, just trying to figure out what horses match horses and, and kids, you know, let's make the races. So they're fun and they're competitive and they look good. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. I, I never thought about that. Actually. I never thought about the fact that, that not enough horses and, yeah. you know, I just figure maybe the uh, the kids brought their own horses, but then I see how difficult that could be also, especially <laughs> with lower income um, uh, households and, and so forth. I never, never really thought about that. You know, the, and they're all, well, I wouldn't say they're all ours, but there's, I think in the program, there's two horses that come here that aren't ours. Everything else is ours. Like we supply them for the kids, you know, and, it, and it's hard because not all these horses just go and you keep telling them, you know, when we get to the track, these things will come alive and they don't really understand it until they get down there on them. You know, and these horses, when they get down to our track, they've trained enough and they've raced enough and they've galloped enough that they, you know, in their own version, they become a racehorse that day. Yeah. As, you know, as, you know, as much fun as it is, we got to keep these kids safe. So I'm always on the lookout for different horses, you know, and, I'm fortunate enough. I have some people every once in a while and say, you know, this, this horse I think will do come try him or whatever, but I'm always on the lookout for horses. Uh, kind of a, a big step where we're in right now, a bunch of our littler kids that have been racing the last two to four years, they're now in the phase of moving up within the next year into bigger horses. And that's going to be a tough transition because the ponies that them kids have been riding are super, super good. But now to go to the next level, that's an ask. You know, all of a sudden they're on bigger, bigger horses that take a little bit more hold and run harder and everything else. So we got to be very careful of, you know, how we transition those kids into that next level. Well, I was going to ask you about that because, I mean, those kids after riding around the track for a few times and, you know, for, for maybe a few months or so, you know, they want to excel. They want to, you know, go. Well, they, try. they try hard. <laughs> they want to get right into it, you know. <laughs> and, and and for you, I, I'm pretty sure you, you want to offer that too. So I mean, you you got what you got, but I mean, yeah. to a point, it might be a good opportunity to to see what else is out there that you may, yeah. And perhaps somebody might want to uh, provide a, a space or something for you to to uh, to to maybe do a test. I don't I don't know how. What, what yeah. do you have, Mike? We've and we.